You are watching Let the Quran Speak, and we're answering your questions. We've got a very interesting question today, Dr. Shabir, and the question is, how are prayer beads used by Muslims? Mm, that's a very interesting question, and I brought along a few uh, samples of prayer <laughs> beads to, uh, to show how they, how they are being used. So in a very simple way, um, the prayer beads uh, are, are used for counting like an abacus, but instead of um, the, the usual shape of an abacus, the prayer beads are like, you know, on a string, a rosary, as people may call them, in, uh, you know, as followers of other faiths. Uh, but a similar idea that, uh, you know, we use the beads to count so many praises of God or something like this. So typically, Typically, um, a, a, a rosary of that sort uh, would look like this. Uh, it's uh, a string uh, on which uh, 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 99 beads are, are laced. Um, and uh, after 33, we have a, a marker. You can see that uh, it's of a different color in this case, sometimes a different size. So when the, when the fingers get to that point, you know, uh, one without looking would know that uh, we've reached a, a certain juncture. Mm -hmm. uh, and typically, a, bead, a set of beads like this would be used by Muslims to uh, pronounce praises of God. Uh, so usually it is done in Arabic. So one would say, subhanAllah, and then draw one. Mm -hmm. uh, and subhanAllah means glory be to God. So subhanAllah, you draw a second one, subhanAllah. And so you don't have to count because when you get to this uh, special marker, which feels different in this case as well, uh, not only does it look different, so even without looking, you, you will know that you've reached a juncture. So 33 times of that, and then you would go Alhamdulillah, which means praise be to God. It's a different formula in Arabic. Praise be to God, praise be to God, praise be to God, praise be to God, praise be to God. And, and then uh, it's like somebody saying Hail Mary on the rosary, but Muslims don't say Hail Mary because for us, Mary, though uh, much respect, uh, is not uh, you know we, we 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 try to keep our devotions only dedicated to God and not to God's servants. Mm -hmm. uh, Mary being a servant of God according to the Bible itself. So then we come to the next juncture and uh, we would say Allahu Akbar. Uh, so God is the greatest. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. Allahu Akbar. And uh, and then we get to the end. So that's ninety nine done. And then we make it a hundred uh, recitations by capping it off by by saying you know we get here we know that we're because that feels different then we'll cap it off by saying something like la ilaha illallah wahdahu la sharika la lahu al-mulku wa lahu al-hamdu yuhyi wa yamutu wa huwa uh, uh, hayyu la yamut wa huwa ala kulli shay'in qadir so um uh, that that's a long formula that says there is no god but god he lives he does not die he 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 gives uh, life but but you know he does not die uh, and he is uh, he has power over all things so mm -hmm. that will cap it off to uh, to 100 recitations uh, now uh, some Muslims uh, feel that this is a kind of an innovation. It was not there in the time of the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him. Obviously, it's a new kind of apparatus. They had simple things in those days. It is reported that one of the companions of the Prophet, peace be upon him, had a bag in which he would put date stones, which obviously were castaways. And uh, he would, you know, on his recitation, he would be throwing away the date stone as he, as he goes. When mm -hmm. the bag is empty, he would fill it again. So now, what, what's, what's the point of all of this? The, the point of all of this is that like, if you sat to yourself and said, okay, I'm just going to meditate, then, you know, all kinds of other thoughts will come to your mind and so on. Uh, but when you have something specific to do and, and a specific number of recitations to count, you'll keep focused because you want to finish it. But if you don't have your beads, then, um, then it, it, it'll be hard to, to retain count. Yes. And that uh, will distract you, right? Because if you're right. thinking, oh, I need to get to 33, you know, yes. it's, it's, it's tough. Some people use their fingers, Dr. Shaker. Yes, that's right. So you can use your fingers. Uh, so you can um, say, okay, I, I have five fingers and each one, you know, except for the thumb, it looks like each one has three portions. Mm -hmm. So let's pretend that the thumb also has three portions. So we can go, subhanAllah, subhanAllah, subhanAllah. So we count it three right there. Uh, um, and and then we get, you know, by the time you're done with the whole hand, it's 15. We go to the other hand, that's another 15. And then you add one finger's worth for the, the in the next three, the so that's your yes. thirty-three. Mm -hmm. Some will say, no, don't use the left hand. Use the right hand for all good things, including this. So just do it twice. You know, there are all of these different variations and uh, interpretations.
but to get more to the core of your question, like if some, if one were to start counting, like to think, okay, that's one, that's two, that's three, then it wouldn't be so devotional anymore no. because you're not focusing on what you need to say to praise God. You're focusing on the numbers. So these beads do that for you. Uh, and but if somebody does it on the finger, and then you don't need any beads, you're free, and you don't have to look where are my beads. That I leave them at home uh, yes. or, or not. Yes. Right, you're always there. And then but, there's something about the mind-body connection, Dr. Shibir, yes. too, right? When you're doing something with your body, it, it has a different impression than if you're just actually just thinking in your head. True, true. And uh, I have seen people from, you know, um, like in, in, in majority Muslim situations who are so accustomed to using the beads that uh, they would be in an ordinary conversation with you and you're wondering, are they really listening to me? Because, you know, they're, they're going like they're this. They're actually talking and they're doing They're that. talking and they're going like this, right? Because <laughs> the habit so, now. Um, and, but it's not just, I mean, yes, it's a habit and it's a good habit they've developed and subconsciously they're, 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 they're saying the praises of God. So they're doing the two things at once hmm. because the the body has now become uh, like the whole system is so uh, routinized to, yes. uh, to do this automatically. So mm -hmm. while they're talking with you, like it, the, the subhanAllahs, the glory be to God is like going on and on in, in their minds. Okay, now this one I just held up is a beautiful one. You can see nice beads. Uh, it's a shorter one. Uh, the, it's only got the 33 beads instead of the 33 times three. Uh, but curiously, they've also put a marker here, like after every 11 beads. Mm -hmm. And I don't know what uh, that marker serves, uh, except maybe to add some beauty to it or to, uh, you know, break the monotony or something like this. Um, but the same thing uh, can be accomplished with this smaller set they're smaller beads and it's got 33 no marker in between so you would just do okay you go subhanallah glory be to god you get to the end you know the next thing is alhamdulillah praise be to god you get to the end allahu akbar so is god that a bracelet how does it work well it, it, it actually looks, like a, looks like a it looks like a bracelet and of course someone with smaller hands than mine will be able to <laughs> keep it on their wrist and so it'll i think be you easy. can adjust it yes it'll be easy to carry it around yeah. maybe I, I haven't tried but yeah <laughs> um so so that's another way of doing it. Now, of course, we go into the modern times and we have electronics, right? <laughs> and uh, I have two versions here. One is a larger one. This is made of wood, but it's got an electronic component there in the middle. So you can reset it to zero. And then, uh, you know, just as people are trying to measure their footsteps, uh, uh, you know, nowadays, uh, so you can measure how many times you recited the praises of God. And this is so cleverly constructed, Safiya, that in the middle here, we have a wheel and, and, and that wheel can be turned uh, with the thumb. So mm -hmm. you would have it like this and you, and you know, you're going like this, glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God. So it feels like the beads. It glory feels be like God. you're flipping the beads, exactly. but you don't have the beads. Exactly, as if you had the beads, but it's not the beads, it's this, right? Mm -hmm. And then later on, you can see how many times you have uh, you have counted. Uh, but of course, uh, there, there, I, I'm not, I haven't looked at it so carefully to see if there is a sort of an alert that will let you know that you've reached the end of 33. Uh, similarly, we have this smaller one. Now, this is most convenient because, <laughs> uh, I mean, uh, more convenient than this larger electronic one. Probably not as convenient as this small set of beads. But nonetheless, uh, here too, you would reset it to zero. And then it has a larger button that you could, uh, you know, without thinking, you can just keep pressing it. Glory be to God, glory be to God, glory be to God. Glory and you can wear it as a ring. <laughs> uh, but it looks like you can do that too. Yeah, you know, you can, yeah. And looks then, quite stylish. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. So, and these are various ways in which uh, Muslims and people of other faiths as well are, are trying to keep their minds uh, occupied with good things, especially with the praises of God. Now, God doesn't need our praise. Like, uh, what is it? Uh, it doesn't add to God's greatness if we said a million times that God is the greatest, right? Uh, but it means something for us. It, it puts us in sync with God and uh, it uh, represents ourselves as, a, like, in this way, we represent ourselves as humble servants of God, always praising God. And of course, it's not that God needs the praise, but God deserves the praise. Mm -hmm. So so when we say, Alhamdulillahi Rabbil Alameen, uh, some people translate that to mean, all praise belongs to God, as if to say that, you know, I may praise you for your good qualities, but the praise ultimately belongs to God. I can praise you and should praise you, but uh, uh, who gave you all of these good qualities? It's God. So uh, all praise ultimately belongs 
to God. Mm -hmm. um, so, Dr. So, Barrett, you've kind of spoken about the fact that many religions use these prayer beads or rosaries or whatever they call it. So, what is the significance in Islam of 33 times? Because you've mentioned 33 a few times, but someone might be wondering, okay, why 33? Yeah, so, so I mean, the simple answer to that is uh, 3 times 33 plus 1 gives you 100, and 100 is a nice round number. We, mm. we, you know, we speak of things being in hundreds and so on. But it also goes back to a tradition. It is mentioned that the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, um, gave a sort of formula to his daughter Fatima. Fatima had uh, uh, been speaking about, you know, the difficult chores that he has to, she has to do. And, and you know, it's, uh, it's sad to, to read this story because... It it means that the daughter of the Prophet, peace be upon him, the most important man for us in all of history, um, you know, his his daughter did not have like uh, she could not hire a servant, and she yes. had all of these domestic chores to to do, and she would be tired by by evening. And so the Prophet, peace be upon him, said to her that um, when you finish your 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 regular ritual prayer, you you say thirty three times Subhanallah and thirty three times Alhamdulillah and thirty three times Allahu Akbar and then cap it off with this uh, formula and that will uh, ease your your tiredness all right we'll leave it on that emotional note we're both getting emotional yeah <laughs> all right thank you for that actually you're welcome Assalamu alaikum. We have some exciting news to share with you. As you know, Let the Quran Speak has been on TV screens and social media for 22 years. We've been reaching people all around the world, spreading positivity and good, and helping people experience the beauty of Islam and the accomplishments of Muslims. We've been shooting in this very space for the past two decades. And now, with the help of Allah, we're about to get the keys to Muslim Media Hub. If you like what we're doing, you're going to love Muslim Media Hub even more. Because it's the next step up. Think new TV shows, podcasts, social media content, and film. It will have new talent, more youth, and a lot more space and resources to do what we love. Spread the message of Allah. Our Muslim Media Hub costs $2.4 million. And for that, we need to raise $300,000. Please give whatever you can. Every dollar counts. It's our collective responsibility to share the message of Islam with our fellow human beings. Please help establish Muslim Media Hub so we can do this. It's a sadaqa jariya, something that will continue to be of benefit to the Muslim community long after we are gone. Thank you, and may Allah bless you and your loved ones today and always. Assalamu alaikum.